2011 Taiga 24 VE. This is a wakeboard boat. It's got ballast tanks. It's got a 5.7 direct drive engine. This boat has been on Lake Capac on the last couple years. We have tower speakers. Of course, the water sports tower has the full Taiga digital display. You can control all of the bags and the ballast tanks as well as your blower, your bilge pump, your heater. All from the dashboard on a digital dashboard. The interior on this boat is very well maintained for its age. It's a low hour boat for this style boat. I believe 213 hours is the current time on the on the hour gauge. This boat does include the trailer. I actually have the heat on on the boat right now. It's actually blowing hot air on me, which is a nice feature for a wakeboard boat. Of course, a bow door to block off the bow. It's got a high point ski pole on the tower and then also a low point to tow tubes. A low bat boarding ladder in the back with a swim platform. I just wanted to go over some of the features on this 2011 Taiga. Of course we have the swim platform in the back that's just about in the water. It makes it easier on and off after wakeboarding. On our hatches in the stern, we actually have ballast bags to, to heavy up the boat to make a better wake. These are self-filling bags. It's all controlled by the digital control up front. There's a battery switch in here as well. center hatch. We have a 350 cubic inch engine made by PCM. It powers the boat quite nicely, gives you plenty of power for wake surfing. We have a low point ski pole right here for tubing. There's also a GoPro mount that somebody put on the top here. Lots of seating. Of course we have our tower with our contact point up front for wakeboarding, kneeboarding, give you that air when you're going off. Our board racks which fold in and out. Of course, our tower speakers. This tower does fold forward to get underneath any low bridges that you need to. We have our mirror, our dashboard with our stereo inside here. The storage underneath every single compartment. There's currently the covers in there. There's cup holders down either side. Up on our driver's seat, we have a flip up bolster. This actually has a weight gate almost like trim on a boat, but it controls the, the depth of the wake for, for wakeboarding. Full digital control, all of your switchers are controlled by this touchscreen over here, including the bags for how heavy the boat's going to be for your wake, the blower, the heat. As I mentioned before, the boat does have heat. It's actually got ports around that you can pull out and have heat blowing on somebody that just gets out of the water to, cool, to, to heat them up. It extends your season. season. We have a small trash container over here. We get out of the way of the camera. Up front, we have a single piece that makes the entire front piece a lounge pad. And then Taiga also integrated their slide-in bow door. A little bit different than we might see. On a sea or a traditional bow right boat. With this bow door up here and this close, all that heat that we were talking about now stays back here. Now you're boarding later into the season. This boat is available at Lake Apacon, Mary Mix, and I'm David. Thank you.